What's up, YouTube? It is New Year's Eve. We're wrapping it up at the shop right now. Hope you guys enjoy your night. Be safe, have fun. Don't drink and drive, all right? Because I'm coming for you. <laughs> but yeah, so we're wrapping up at the shop. Um, I do have a tutorial coming out. It is wasn't intended to be a tutorial. It was an Instagram video that I made on how I cut my own hair. Uh, it's a crop top. I did used to, I used to have long, uh, flowy hair, but then I decided to chop it off because I was just over it. My hair, I've always, ne I've never had a really dominant hairline, so I wanted to change it up, do something different. And I remember my teacher telling me, you know, that the crop top is coming in style. It started like the European side, and now it's slowly making its way over here. You could tell a lot of people are starting to get the crop. So, you know, I decided, you know, why not make a video crop my own hair? So I ended up having a lot of more footage than I thought. A lot of people asked me, you know, how do you cut your hair? Can we see a more in-depth video? So this next tutorial is on that, over, you know, how I, achieve that look and what I did, how I cut it, why I cut it a certain way, get some value from it, learn something new, some scissor work. I am still working on my scissor work, you know, really work, focus on, you know, tension and, you know, sectioning, making sure you have a clean line. So you guys have a good, happy new year's, uh, be safe and let's get on to the tutorial. Oh, also go ahead and drop likes and below saying happy birthday to my girlfriend because she is born on January 1st. Well, not really. She's born November 17th. But she wasn't born here, she moved over here, so she has a full birthday, so she has like two birthdays. But yeah, so drop some, you know, happy birthdays for her, right? Let's get into the tutorial. What's up, guys? Today's tutorial is on myself and how I crop my hair, so we're gonna go over how I achieved this style. First, you know, going ahead and wetting my hair, getting it ready for, you know, the sectioning, so I have nice clean sections. I went ahead and took my first section on the frontal right above my forehead. I did that just so I could set the foundation. You know, I want to go ahead and cut the corners really tight so that my hairline looks a lot more fuller and a little bit longer in the front just so I have something to move with. After that, you want to go ahead and comb the hair back down, make sure it's all even, you got all the hairs. Right here, I'm just kind of point cutting just so it's not too bulky. After that, I'm taking my next section. So I put the comb on top of my head and I bent it to see where the bend in my head is. And that's where I take my first section. So that's right there. And I did get on that side. So I put the comb on top of my head, tilted it so where the bend in my head would be. And that's where I take my first section. And I'm pulling that section all the way down past my parietal ridge so that when I comb it forward, my head still has that square shape. So I pulled it all the way down past my parietal ridge, so I have enough length that when my hair is you know, styled, it'll still look square and have that shape. Doing the same on this side, pulling it all the way down past my parietal ridge and cutting that. I'm not gonna lie, it was hard trying to record this for Instagram and cut my hair because I was trying you know, get the scissors scissors in there where they could see it along with you know try not cut my finger i did actually cut my finger a little bit it wasn't too bad but i did snip it a little bit you can see me struggling to like try and figure it out this is all the uncut stuff i didn't put this in the instagram but i'll give it to you guys for the youtube go ahead and connecting the back now i just combed all my hair forward again and i'm just relining where the longer hair was hanging past where my initial guy line was. So my hair was really long. It was probably like seven inches or so. So I cut a good amount off. It was a big change. I didn't really, first didn't like it, but I got a lot of compliments about it. After and it's a good style. It's very easy, low maintenance. Now I'm just taking um, vertical sections on the top of my head, about two fingers width. And then I'm gonna start my next guy line for taking away length now. I'm probably gonna cut, I think about half the length. Trying to make my partings as perfect as I can, but it is kind of hard, do it on yourself. <laughs> so here we go. I'm gonna pull that all the way up and I'm, I'm, you're gonna see where the short hair is from the front. So right there, and I'm gonna cut all that. And this will be my main guideline 
that I will follow throughout the rest of the haircut. Taking that on the back and cutting more just so it's all even. And I'm taking horizontal sections and I'm gonna connect that to the side. So here I'm pulling that up, see where the short hair is and then I'm gonna call that long hair right there. And the same on the other side. Now I'm going to comb in everything forward. Now I'm just going to double check my work. Now I just finished cutting the top. Now it's time to style. I am using Strand uh, Sea Salt Spray. Throw pumps in there and then go ahead and blow dry it I did use a diffuser just so it doesn't move my hair like crazy and it kind of keeps it all in place and gives a nice volume but nothing you know where it's too too frizzy or anything like that I went and just lined up my beard while I'm here just so the cut looks clean I've been liking this cut you know um, keeping everything kind of dark and having just the nice edge up but you know, no tapers, no fade or anything, just, you know, kind of short around the taper area into the beard and then just having a nice line. Kind of like that Drake look, but you know, without the whole fade, I like everything connecting. I don't know, I've been digging it lately. <laughs> I was just trying to make, make something funny for the video little break because that was honestly a tough time but now I'm just using the SD uh, volumizing powder I realized I was using this product wrong you're supposed to be tapping the top to get the product out a lot easier but just picking it up putting it inside my roots just so it gets to the very bottom so that it will give you that volume look I'm just going and tapping that all in boom that's pretty much the finished look playing with everything see how I like it this was my first time really styling it so but yeah that's the finished look so let me know what you think did you like it before did you like it after I think it's dope this looks really coming in so let me know like comment subscribe and see you guys on the next one